Yeah. It's an yeah. Ono, it's an Ono. Yeah. I'll gap him if I can. Pounder. Oh. One shot, one shot. Right. Weighing the Ono. <laughs> Let's see how... Oh, oh. I can get it off the table and then see if I can even raise it up high enough to get away. Is it off the ground? Yeah. 50. Hold on. I knew it. It looks like 51 or 2. Yay! <laughs> 50! Nice <laughs> man, this is Catholic. This owner is so clean. <laughs> Look at those dentures. See how owner how cool and how they close, like almost like scissors. Yeah, over here, like that's pretty neat, huh? And then double joint. You see over here. See over here, beak, see how wide it opens? Because see over here, it's hinged. See that? Yeah. This whole thing moves up, huh? Look at that. It's pretty cool. Very specialized. Yeah. Cutting tuna in half. <laughs> oh, I had so much fun reeling this in too. On the spinner, huh, guys? I'm so glad you guys took me out. I'm going to break this beautiful beast before we eat them. Yeah. See how many different ways we can cook. Up. There's about 10 ways you can eat them raw, and then there's 20 ways you can eat them cooked. Nice. <laughs> That's why we love Ono. Okay. So, Mikey Nolan, the Ono we caught. And we'll print them. Look how fresh this puppy looks, huh? See, Ono has this uh, character I want to capture, right? So this uh, wedge, this piece of core, gotta be core. <laughs> I'm having so much fun, bro. Try to get the dentures. Yeah, you gotta have core. None of the eating portion's been damaged, so it's a blessing. Cause Ono, we don't want to waste even a single bite. If we can't eat the fish, why should we be fishing in the first place anyways, right? Especially fish like Ono. Ono, you cannot go wrong because you can eat them so many different ways. There's like, there's like at least 10 ways I can eat them raw and then there's equal amount of ways you can cook and eat. And you know, it's just a beautiful fish. And best part is when you fillet Ono, the yield is good. So. We show them to you a little bit later before we grind some sashimi. Okay, so we're going through regular routine of uh, uh, Kyotaku, Naoki style. And I'm sure you guys are familiar with what I do with the fish. We, um, uh, dab the paint and stuff so you get all equal um, amount of paint and distributed and all the lateral lines and tiny scale from Ono. Ono has uh, so many different um, pelagic species. The scales are not, not as uh, defined as some reef fish. They're more uh, designed for streamlined, fast swimming uh, type, of, type of texture. So uh, least resistance to the water. So it's one of the uh, faster swimming fish in the ocean. Okay, so here we go. 50 pound auto going on pepper. Let's put them in the angle because uh, always, yeah, I like to see the angle. Yeah, Nolan, why don't you help me hold this pin down because then I get better print right there. Oh, thanks. Objective here is to capture an accurate image of this beautiful, beautiful, delicious ono that we, we just eager to eat it, but before that, we like to capture it this way, right? See, as you see, Ono is uh, pretty much like um, torpedo shape, right? It's not as flat, like compressed, like mahi mahi. It's more, more cylinder shape, so it's a little bit more trickier than something like mahi mahi, okay? So, Ono, always, you know, when I dive and stuff, I see this uh, little finlet back here, so you gotta capture it out. Yeah, so those, that, that's all. So you pull the fin, 
right? And then I'm sandwiching it between the hand. I, I have my I have my hand bracing on the seat. Okay, right there. Right? And then so that way you can continue this beautiful, beautiful line that nature had created. And then over here, like um, big ono, especially big ono is uh, so three-dimensional, it's round cylinder. So you gotta manipulate the paper to, to fit the shape. Huh? Okay, otherwise uh, you're not gonna be able to capture the accurate shape of this beautiful looking tissue. Okay, ready Nolan. We're gonna add ready. tension and pull them up and we're gonna reveal the 51 pound ono! Right. Here we go! Damn. Yeah! yeah it is. Oh, fat! Bro, look at this. Whoa, bro. Yeah. Hey, so guys, we got real nice prints of this bit. So let's get the ink off and then uh, let's uh, cut off and bag off. Okay. See, water based acrylic come off real easy. So, you know, a lot of people wondering out there if you freeze fish and okay, eat that raw. That's a myth because. I mean, in the first place, why why would we print a fish if we're gonna ruin the eating quality of it? You know, I mean, that's silly. So if we, if we spend so much time and effort trying to catch them, we better be able to eat them. Uh, Not just eat them, but we better eat them like the premium quality, right? So, so first, um, when you print fish, you don't take that long. You just keep them out. So this is still real chill. And see how firm. See, nothing's ruined. This is like way better than fish you find in the... A uh, fish market because it just came off the uh, fish bag right there. See that the fish bag full of ice. And then, so that's what it is, right? And it's all about fresh cook. Yeah, get all the uh, water-based acrylic off. That's why uh, my choice of paint is water-based acrylic because of this. You can get them off. You can use any kind of paint to um, get the print done. But then again, thinking of eating quality, you gotta be washable, water soluble and uh, uh, all those uh, uh, factors in the equation that when we plan to do this. Yeah. We dealing with food. Cool, we got to catch beautiful Ono. Oh Here's uh, part of the fillet that um, I wanted to show. Um, uh, I guess one way we, we get to eat Ono. Um, you know, um, there's so many different ways to eat fish, but then Ono definitely to me, uh, sashimi tastes good because uh, it's really sweet. Uh, the meat is uh, sweet. So here we go. Here's a nice sashimi block. Okay, I like ume. This is umeboshi, the uh, salty uh, plum, right? Um, umeboshi. And then in Japan, they have uh, shiso leaves, like Japanese basil, but those are a little bit harder to get. So this is just a sweet basil, okay? But has really good flavor. So I like I like to uh, use that as well. So what I do, very sharp knife. Yeah, cut them into little sashimi pieces. Yeah, so when you prepare this uh, log um, to be cut, it's uh, when you cut sashimi, it's cross grain. So you're just gonna slide your knife across, and when you pull, usually I cut. I like to keep the meat all together like this. Yeah, so that would be that would be the sashimi cut. But then what I like to do is to put okay little 
flavor to it. So it's still fresh sashimi, but um, you can put little basil leaves in between, right? Like this. So this is ume, yeah. I'll put little ume pieces. And then so this is salted ume, so instead of um, enjoying your sashimi with, with the um, shoyu flavor, and shoyu and wasabi, that's your standard flavor. But then um, when you use uh, basil like this and uh, shiso, it gives uh, uh, such a uh, different, a unique flavor. You, you bring out the flavor of the fish. So like this, you can um, serve them like this, okay? And then when you eat it, right, you don't need shoyu. You wrap because uh, salt, salty ume, and uh, basil gives the flavor. So all you gotta do is hold them like this and then, mm. oh no. So next time you get lucky, catch on ono. Oh Try this, start trying different flavors. It's really, um, it's really fun. Um, you can really enjoy uh, what you catch. You never get tired of it. So this is one way and next time we catch something, I will show you Another unique way of eating fish raw, so. So here's the ono that we're gonna finish up today. See, I got just enough uh, zebra, tiger stripes, as uh, ono display there. They're like, you know, colors and textures and stuff. They, they show, they communicate um, like chameleons, you know, they show the emotions and stuff like that. But always, uh, these uh, zebra stripes, I, I really like seeing on ono when we catch, because they always, um, when we catch them, they're all excited, so they show this pattern. Um, so that's one of the characters I like to capture. When I color, I use water. Water is a vehicle to carry pigments, right? So I use this spray bottle on the larger fish, so I don't have to uh, cover every square inch with the brush. But then, brush has to be used to do this kind of, uh, uh, kind of close to the edge borders, yeah? So, yeah, water. This is water. Again, water is a tool. So if you know how to use water, you can contain and then you can uh, make them behave the way you want. Here is uh, water down silver. I, I put silver because Ono, first thing come, comes to my mind, Ono is very shiny. Silver pigments um, I apply over water and that's gonna give the, um, to me a more lifelike uh, appearance. And the brush I'm using is like, you know, nothing really specialized. Um, it's actually a paintbrush from hardware store. Okay. So it's not the tool you use, it's, uh, it's what you do with it. And then, more importantly, it's not what you do with your tool and paint. It's what you see you know, when you close your eyes. So you have to, you have to know the subject you're working with because what I'm trying to do is I'm getting the image closer and closer to the image I see when I close my eyes. It, so um, nature, nature has uh, created all the images I, I um, uh, display in the frames and on people's walls and stuff. But again, um, I'm not making anything fictional. This is all about uh, showing what's here between my ears. I, I've been diving since I was a kid. I caught many ono. Ono is my favorite fish to catch and eat because so many different ways you can eat. Um, I know like 10 different ways to eat them raw. And there's equal different equal amount of uh, cooked dishes I can make make with Ono. So Ono's my favorite. So I get so excited. I mean, always in a good mood when I'm uh, coloring Ono because I taste it, and uh, it is so fun to catch. And then you know my my favorite way to go catch these guys, very selective way, <laughs> to go in the water with my spear gun and maybe chum the water a little bit with uh, natural bait such as uh, maybe chopped up aku belly or something real shiny and then we put a little teaser in the water so that would reflect the natural sunlight and then and then to uh, get this guy's attention see this gold I put on see I have a reason for this because uh, when you see when I see Ono uh, I see I see him like early morning like dawn patrol we call it or or uh, late afternoon, like just before, you know, get gets dark, like dusk, right? So that's that's um, when the sun rays coming in the angle, like bronze color, water turns like bronzish color. It's beautiful too. It's really uh, 
uh, quiet time, uh, transition time from night to day or day to night and uh, that's when I like to hunt for Ono. So I see this uh, bronze color reflecting on a silver body and uh, to me again that's that's cake on my my brain when I close my eyes I see those colors because uh, you know that's I guess without thinking that's what my brain are used to seeing but you know I have a lot of opinions of my own but then I in fact love catching Ono printing Ono and then eating them so we're gonna let this dry a little bit and then we're gonna add life to it see Ono got sharp teeth and that scissors right Coming out good, so give it a few minutes and we'll come right back to it. Okay, so um, the piece uh, the, is dry, the Ono, ono color is dry. So um, here, this is the black acrylic, just just a dense acrylic to the to the eye. Just a simple, um, you know, point one point brush and pretty thick paint, right? So. This has to be completely dry because uh, we don't want this paint to uh, run or smear. So water has to uh, be uh, evaporated you know, before we do this. So the surface is going to be completely dry. So Ono Eye is pretty much around. So if you pay attention to those little details, uh, that's going to uh, help us capture the nature in a little bit more um, uh, proper way. So again, it's observation. How much you... Um, how much you observe out there in the nature is how much you get to put into this. So uh, there's no textbook, uh, better textbook than uh, uh, nature itself. So you know if you want to get familiar with what you're, what you're printing and stuff, best thing I can suggest is go in the water and spend some time. Uh, just, just enjoy and then um, see a lot of things and uh, remember what you see. And that's going to really um, bring out the real lifelike um, image. So this to me is ultimate auto. It's a fork length, almost 60 inches. Look at that girth, it's a 51 pounder. And scale was bouncing, so it could be 50, it could be 53. But again, uh, 50, 51, 49, doesn't matter. It's a delicious chunk of fish here that we got to enjoy eating. So now, this is gonna go on a wall and uh, it's gonna be swimming there for our next generations to see. All right, so now we're gonna um, finish it up. I wanna sign, like any art, um, you know, signature should go on. And here we go. Okay, and then here is my signature stamp. Yeah, one piece wood, it's hand carved. It's uh, And then this is called Shuniku. It's a Japanese uh, ink pad. So here we go. My signature stamp goes on like icing on a cake. And there it is. Oh no. Hey, we had so much fun catching this. Nolan and Mikey, thanks again for uh, taking me out. And uh, I, I had fun. Last time I caught something like this, uh, over 50 pound Ono, was exactly 20 years ago. Uh, Manolo Bay, I jumped in at crack of dawn and I got to. Uh, catch one that was 51 and this is 51 exactly 20 years later it happened isn't it amazing i love fishing a lot